in this video we're going to focus on how we compare on with the tooltip you can see here while we hover over other tooltip it will not show anything except if we focus on a very specific line here and here with this you can only choose or you can choose which line you want to show your tooltip this is sometimes necessary if you want to just highlight a very specific item even here if you are double or the line is crossing each other or intersecting each other it still only shows the orange values so let's start to explore how to do this right now in this video we're going to focus on one of the viewers question which is how to show tooltip only for one data set instead of all in chart.js all right so this question came from one of my other videos which is this one here how to create a custom html tooltip from scratch in chart.js and here if we scroll down you can see a question that came from mutu kumar so a special thank you to mutu for asking this so what is he asking well this is what he says thanks for the detailed video i need to hide the points on the line chart for example there are three series basically i need to disable chart mouse over on the entire chart and only for one series only i have to show the tooltip all right so this is quite interesting so let's start to explore how to do this in chart.js yes, luckily this is quite straightforward to do so let's start to check first what we need first is here go to chartjs3.com getting started and here we're going to grab the default code just to start with copy this and if you want to understand this video uh, this code here please check out this specific video here so what we're going to do here is we're going to just paste this in here and once we paste this in there i'm going to just move the title in there all right so if i save this now and refresh here we have now bar chart so if i'm not mistaken it was a line chart so let's put in three different data points here for the line so we say three we make here this first line and then what we're going to do here is well i'm going to change this first tension and i see tension 0 0.4 and then what i will do is i just duplicate this two more times so we can imagine if we have this all right so this could be cost and the other could be uh, sales well that's let's say profits all right so i'm just going to remove a few of these colors so we have these differences here it's easy to spot and uh, also for the border color same story here all right just make this solid there we are next here i will just get one color and put it in here as well do the same here and I put this on zero, this background color is 0 0.2, so it's transparent. Make sure you have these commas. Final here, uh, let's get the red one, that's nice. So we're going to paste this in there, paste that one in here. And then we say here, this is solid one. If I save this now and refresh, you can see here we have a line, but we have one issue with the line. The line is consistently the same value. So let's give it some different random values uh 12 and 18 and this one will be uh, well we can make this six six i'll just keep it on six and there we are and finally we have 21 12 and then i'll do again 21 12 and 21 12 and 21 all right refresh there we are so we have all these lines here but you can see here right now the tooltip will show the specific values here and what i really want now is oh this is basically the question can we show only on a specific line only the tooltip yes we can so all right what we need to do here is we basically go to the options here and then we say your plugins because we're going to pinpoint the tooltip settings make sure you have a comma here and then we say here tooltip then in the tooltip we can use the filter option here so we say here the fil or filter function so we say here the filter and then we say a function and this function will have a parameter of tooltip item and basically in here if you do the console.log you will see the results here and this will be very useful for us so if i save that refresh you see nothing happens here but if i open up the developer tab and the moment we hover over you can see here it will show everything here so what we really want to do is we want to filter out and we only want to trigger it basically if the data set index equals 
a specific one. So if you want to only target this one, what would be the data set here, the yellow one here? I'm not even sure what it is, but we can see here data set index number one. So we will always trigger only if this equals data set number one, else don't show at all. So that's what we're going to do here. So in here, we say return. So we're going to return now the value based on what we hover. And then we say here, tooltip, and then remember what we want. Or, sorry, tooltip item dot, and remember what we want. We want to grab this specific value, the data set index, it's the one, equals number one. So if we do this, say that, all right, and then we say equal one. And then semicolon. All right. So if I save this now and then refresh, if you move over, you can see it triggers here. But here, this is eventually what we want. And there we are. So now we go here and there. And then if we go in here, it does recognize it, but it just doesn't show it. The only thing which you might notice is that there it, it jumps down. If you move over here, it just jumps down here. However, that's the only thing because the tooltip basically is one tooltip that is moving everywhere. That's how Charge.js builds all these tooltips. Basically, just one tooltip, but the only thing what is changing is the data here. All right, so what if we do number zero, which would be index zero, which would be this specific value. I don't know which one it is, but I do know it starts with number nine. Refresh, and number nine, oh, that's this one here. This is number nine, there we are. Even if we have here two items, it will only register the official one that we pinpointed. And that's basically how we can work with the tooltip and that is the answer in short. So if you like this video, I have another video that might be also interest of you is this specific video here. Oh, sorry. Um, this one here and this one here basically covers everything about the tooltips and it's really a fascinating one. So how to add more information in the tooltip in charge. Yes, it's a 20 minute video that covers every possible option. You can see eventually there's a picture in there that shows it breaks down all these items. This is another one that I highly recommend you if you want to customize your tooltip from top to bottom. Every function that you can imagine is in here.